Good morning, good morning from a beautifully blue sky, sunny Sierra on my way up Glen. Yesterday turned out to be an incredible day. The weather completely flipped right after we got over Pincho and we were more thankful than ever to be basking in the sun. We camped at Arrowhead Lake, which is just a little bit back to set us up for a two pass day over Glen and then Forrester. And now everything is coming down to thunderstorms and Whitney, because if I do Whitney, I will only be four miles away from Crabtree Meadows and I will head up tomorrow, come down and then get close to Mulkey and then end the trail in about one and a half days. If I do get thunderstorms and Whitney's just not in the cards, which I've accepted as much as I don't want to, I'm not gonna climb a 14er in a thunderstorm. I've climbed 14ers and they can be pretty dangerous. So I'm not gonna try and risk my life or put myself in a bad situation just to in the hike I want in the way I want it to end really. So totally playing that by ear. The food carry of 128 miles has been a little bit more challenging than expected just because the terrain and it's hard hiking up here in the Sierra, especially with the altitude. So I got some food yesterday from Jam from some Jam Tears and huge shout out to you all because if I do get a weather window and I do get to do Whitney, it'll be because of you. I could have starved my way through, but I really didn't want to. And if I don't do Whitney, then tomorrow is my last day on trail. So I can't believe I just said that out loud, but that's, that's it. Mulkey Pass. It's going to be roughly 26 miles away. And then we're going to walk out of Horseshoe Meadows, just like we did back in June first or June 2nd I don't know Ray Lakes is going to be spectacular and I'm just basking in these last few few days because I don't know what's going to happen from here on out with the weather it's been so crazy here in the Sierra but it's been so beautiful so challenging so rewarding and I guess, uh, I guess I have a lot to think about and I don't really know how to convey it all into words, but regardless, I have a pretty good day of hiking ahead of me and I will see you all either on top of Whitney or at Mulkey Pass. I don't know. Only time will tell.
I knew Glenn Glenn Pass Here we go oh. That is the coldest water you can jump into known to man Oh my God, I almost fell. There is a literal iceberg floating in this thing. But it was damn good. I'll tell you what. That thing is insane, dude. You can tell it's just bomber granite. Forrester ain't playing around. I slipped on a uh, gnarly little snow patch over here on a traverse and just punched right through to a rock. So um, that's a good one. And that's gonna hurt tomorrow. But you know what? We ain't stopping now. One mile away from the top. This is so gnarly. Forester in a cloud, on snow. Uh, you can't see it right now, but it just got covered up. It's so close. Okay, here we go. Forester climb update. Uh, still pretty cloudy, but there's no trail. So it's a scramble to the hidden pass, pretty much straight up. So this is gonna be fun. Um, oh, it popped out. In fact, I see weatherman right there. Yep, boom. Okay, let's do it. Last climb of the PCT. That's real climb. That's crazy. We did it. Forester, baby. That was not easy. And, uh, Forrester definitely got a piece of me. That's for sure. But we did it.
Only fitting to have a big sunset on one of our last days.